Good afternoon, this is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I'm here at 3712 Carabeth Drive in Encino, and I am uh, preparing to perform a video examination of the main sewer line for Eric and Jill Schwartz. Now, the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is not focused on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted. Or a specialty building drain line video examination can be served through our office. So I'm going to be performing today's examination from our four inch main sewer line cleanout located here at the front of the structure over near the front left corner. There's the front corner of the house, and uh, there's the front porch. Now the line's going to you can drop in and turn, basically run across the front yard all the way to the opposite end over there and drop down uh, at the driveway before we uh, run out and connect up to the public sewer under the street. So we've got a line that's pretty long, considering how close we are to the, the street itself. So here is where we're making that turn and connecting up almost immediately to the uh, original vitrified clay piping. Now there's quite a bit of debris through this section. We may have had some settlement. Um, but there's also some mud and looks like plaster and stuff from recent work. So just want to get this debris out of here and probably uh, flush it out real good. Alright, so these original uh, vitrified clay pipes, they are expected to have a long service life. They are a natural material, being clay, so they're uh, less likely to deteriorate underground, but they can be brittle, so there's a higher potential for damage in seismic activity or earthquakes. So we're specifically looking for any significant cracks or breaks, significant offsets or separations of these uh, pipe section connections of the joints anything that would be considered a compromise to the integrity of the pipe. So far it looks pretty clean. And we're coming up on a, a broken section here. If you look closely at the lower, lower right of the uh, pipe here, you'll see there's a big hole in the pipe and then uh, roots coming at the top. So most likely there's a this break goes all the way up around the top. We've got root intrusions at that area. It's close to a tree. Not uh, clear what caused it, but it's something that uh, would be recommended for repair. Now, the location of it is just to the left of the driveway. Um, there's currently a trench there for some water lines, uh, so the, uh, the depth is only about seven inches uh, inside that trench that's already there. So, pretty easy to go ahead and dig this up and fix it, but you can see the rocks and soil and stuff that's washing down through the sanitary sewer. So it's important that that get repaired. Beyond that point, pretty clean. We're kind of continuing out to the middle of the driveway, and then we're going to uh, basically drop down vertically here and then turn right. Here we're going to increase in uh, the diameter of the pipe from 4 inch to 6 inch. And then we're going to head out, connect up to the public sewer here near the middle of the street. On this turn is our public sewer connection. Right there at 96 feet. Alright, so no other surprises. Uh, just that one little break. Should be fairly easy to get to it to uh, uh, repair that. 
certainly one might want to consider due to the length of the line and the turns, maybe just installing another clean out there. Can provide a couple clean outs for this line uh, due to the turns and the length it would be a it would be a benefit to the system in case uh, you know, cleanings are, are needed down the road here. All right, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video portion of the examination for today. Uh, please do refer to my written report for the description of the final findings and recommendations. Now, we do recommend that main sewer lines should be examined after any significant seismic activity, and that main sewer lines should be examined annually to monitor for changing conditions in the system. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day.